Ninawasalimu wapenzi wa tazamaji popote mlipo hamjambo. Karibu tena kwenye muendelezo wa masungumzo yetu kutoka kwa kituo chako na ambari moja cha Kenya ni Media. Ni kopelako sikio ni kueleza yale yote ambayo yamejiri. Mpenzi mtazamaji, siku chache tu kwanza ilikuwa ni siku ya Alhamisi baada ya bunge la seneti kuweza kumuondoa rigadi la chawa mamlakani licha kwamba mahakama iliweza kutoa conservatory order ya kumfanya rigadi la chawa kwamba aendelee kukuwa deputy president baka kipindi ambapo kesi yake itakaposikilizwa gachawa ameanza kupokea mabaya ya serikali ambaye aliweza kuipigia kura uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 baada ya kuweza kutoka mamlakani as we speak tume ya uchunguzi na upelelezi DCI imeweza kumtumia Rigadi Gachagua barua ya kumuamurisha mara moja afike mbele ya tume ya DCI aeleze matamushi ambayo aliweza kuyatoa siku ya Jumapili kuhusiana na Rais William Ruto na serikali ya Kenya kwanza kujaribu kumuua mara tatu Anielewa pezo wa tazamaji? So serikali ambayo Rigadi Gachawa alikuwa imeanza sasa kumuandama. Unaona ile jinsi ambavyo serikali ilianza kumuandama Fred Matiangi, Fred Matiangi mpaka Matiangi akanyamaza kabisa. Sasa umeanza kumuandama Rigadi Gachawa. And there is a reason as to why they want Rigadi Gachawa to present himself at DCI Kiamburu offices muna siku ya jumaine na just imagine hii siku ambayo umeweza kuamurisha rigadi gachawa weze kujiwasilisha kwenye afisi za DCI ni siku ambayo <laughs> ni siku ambayo mchana yani siku ambayo asubuhi mwendo wa saine hapo hivo mahakama itakuwa inatoa mwelekeo kamili waendapo gachawa ataendelea kukaa mamlakani ama gachawa ataenda nyumbani kindiki yaweze kuapishwa are you trying to join some dots anyway wacha niweza kukusome hiyo barua inasemaje ndio hiyo ambayo unaona hapo imeweza kuandikwa kwamba national police service directorate of criminal investigation Date 21st October 2024 Iyo misiku ya jumatatu Honorable Rigadi Gachagua Re invitation to appear at the DCI headquarters To record a statement regarding alleged assassination attempts Kwa hivyo umeweza kumuita ajiwasilishe kwenye afisi za DCI Weza kuelezea Tarifa ambaza aliweza kutamuka siku ya ijuma pili alipoweza kuondoka hospitali na kusema kwamba marambili serikali imeweza kujaribu kumuo upande wa kisumu, upande wa nyeri na kipindi ambapo alikuwa hospitalini. Barua hiyo kundani kasema kwamba on October 20th, 2024, during a press conference, you publicly stated that there had been multiple assassination attempts on your life. You are quoted saying on August 30th in Kisumu undercover security agencies entered my room, bagged it, and one of them tried to poison my food. We detected it and, and, and were able to escape the scheme. I was supposed to be killed by food poisoning. Wakaweza kumrekodi yale mbali weza kusema. Your father... You, you went further to state on September 3rd, another team from the National Intelligence Service came to Nyeri and they tried to poison food that was meant for me and the Kikuyu Council of Elders. These are the serious allegations emanating from a person of your stature and it cannot be taken lightly. In light of the seriousness of this matter, we kindly request your presence on 22nd October, Tuesday, at the Directorate of Criminal Investigation, DCI headquarters, Mazingira Complex, Kiambu Road, to formally record your statement to enable prompt and the thorough investigation into the matter. 
We understand the sensitivity of the allegations and assure you that this matter will be handled with the seriousness it deserves. Your statement is a crucial component of our investigation. Thank you for your prompt investi attention and your cooperation. So ladies and gentlemen, hiyo ndio barua ambayo uh, regarding achao wameweza kusukumiwa na kuambiwa kwamba siku ya Jumaine tarehe 22 Oktoba aweze kujiwasilisha kwenye afisi za DCI and kishe taarifa moja mbili kuhusiana na yale madai ambayo aliweza kutoa kwamba kulikuwa na jaribio la kuweza kumwangamiza upande wa Kisumu upande wa Nyeri na kipindi ambapo alikuwa hospitalini upande wa Karim but ladies and gentlemen Let's now face this sum, sa, summon in a political way. Tuweze kuangalia hii barua kisiasa. But before that, we all know that in politics nothing happen just out of a mere coincidence. Everything in politics is well planned, well scripted to achieve a specific objective. Kabla tujaweza kuangalia hii barua kwa njia ya kisiasa ninakuomba please ulike video please usiendelee kutazama hii kanda kama hujaweza ku like vile vile usininyime please subscription karibu tusonge mbele what are the reasons as to why huh? what are the reasons as to why this yae imeweza kutumika kumuita rigadi gachagua Weleza yale madai ambayo aliweza kuyatoa kwamba ulikuwa iko na jaribio la kuweza kumua. Gachawe yeye mwenye aliweza kusema kwamba hadi aliweza kuripoti hicho kitendo lakini akikuweza kufanyiwa uchunguzi kwa kina. I think reason number one, politically speaking, politically speaking now. I think reason number one, kwa kuweza kumtumia Rigathi Gachawa hii barua William Ruto is trying to silence Rigadi Gachagua politically. William Ruto is trying to silence to silence Rigadi Gachagua from releasing more bombshell, more more government secrets. Kumbuka kwamba siku ya Jumapili kipindi ambapo Gachagua aliweza kuachiliwa. Aliweza kusema kwamba alijaribu kumwambia William Ruto ho Unajua hii kampuni ya Adani si mzuri kwa wakenya waachana nayo. Alijaribu kueleza wakenya kwamba alimwambia William Ruto wacha kuongezea wakenya ushuru, akakataa kusikia. Akaendelea kuongeza uchungu baada ya uchungu mwingine kwa wakenya. So, William Ruto is trying his best. Kwa sababu ameona kwamba gachagua penye anaelekea ataweza toboa hata siri awaambie wakenya kwamba you know, yale mambo ambayo mlikuwa mnasema ya service yalienda hivi. So he is trying his he is trying his best. Weza kumnyamazisha Rigadi Gachawa kisiasa. Anyamaza kabisa. Uliona the way Matiangi aliweza kuandamwa na serikali. Mara maafisa wanatumwa nyumbani kwake, wako nje wanataka kumkamata. Up to the date Matiangi aliweza kuamua kabisa akaondoka hapa nchini. Ndio siku ambayo mambo yake aliweza kuisha. Mpaka siku ambayo Matiangi aliweza kuamua kaenda kumpigia wile Muruto magoti akamwambia kwamba tusalimiane. Baka siku ambayo ndio siku ambayo maafisa wa DCI waliacha kumwandama. So William Muruto anataka kumnyamazisha Rigadi Gachagua kisiasa kabisa. Number two, I think ladies and gentlemen, William Muruto is trying to show Rigadi Gachagua now, you know man, tulikuwa na wewe kwa serikali. Sasa hivi umeweza kuondoka kwa serikali. Wewe ni raia. Mimi ndiye mwenye niko na mamlaka ya kuamrisha polisi. Unanielewa? Kipindi ambapo Rigachagua alikuwa mamlakani kipindi cha maandamano wakati ule Rigathi Gachagua ndiye alikuwa na mamlaka. Alikuwa na waamrisha wa sio maandamano ya Gen Z, yale maandamano ya Azimio 2023. Wali, kile kipindi ambapo Gachagua alikuwa anaamka saa kumi kuelekea kwa ofisi kile kipindi gachao alikuwa na amri za kuweza kuamrisha maafisa wa polisi sasa hivi William Ruto is now trying to show that gachao you know I'm the one I'm the chief of defense forces mimi ndio 
niko mkuu wa maafisa wa polisi hapa nchini mimi ndiye mkuu wa usalama hapa nchini so i can decide ni kuitia maafisa wa polisi supremacy anataka kumwambia kwamba you know man mimi sasa hivi ndio niko kwa kiti mimi ndio nimekalia kiti mimi ndio niko na mamlaka so hakuna kenyu utaweza kaniambia hakuna vinyu unaweza kanitishia i think william ruto is trying to show regarding the chat that yeye ndio mwenye kusimamia maafisa wa polisi hapa nchini Number three, na ya mwisho, I think William Ruto is trying to intimidate regarding the chagwa or to stop regarding the chagwa from inciting Kenyans against him. You know, <laughs> wa Kenyan watu wa ajabu, the more regarding the chagwa naendelea kutoa bombshell, the more wa Kenyan wanaendelea kumuone uruma na wanachukia William Ruto. That is the fact. Ni wa Kenya wa gani ambao hawakukua na mpenda Rigadi Gachawa. Lakini the moment Rigadi Gachawa aliweza kusema siku ya jumapili kwamba serekali hii ambaye amekuwa ndani ilijaribu kumuua mara mbili, mara tatu. Wa Kenya wameweza kumuona William Mruto kama mtu ambaye ni mnyama na wameweza kuamua kusaidi na Rigadi Gachawa. So William Mruto is trying to stop Rigadi Gachawa from inciting Kenyans. Mwambi you man, ulisema mambo haya, njo kwenye meza andika chini. Weze kueleza ulionaji wa kijaribu kukwekea sumu. Kwa sababu, haya manena mbawe gachawa liweza kuyatamuka, nimeweza kuona kwenye mita ndawe ya kijamii mbaka wa Kenya wakisema kwamba, oo, uenda hata Francis Ogola, aliweza, aliweza, so, wa Kenya umeweza kusema kwamba, kama gachawa, the second in command alijaribu kufanyiwa hili ata Francis Ogola aliweza kufanyiwa hilo so William Ruto is trying his best to intimidate and stop regarding the child from inciting Kenyans because as we speak right now William Ruto has no ground maybe watu wa nyanza penye raila anatoka Mount Kenya nyumbani kwake upande wa Rift Valley wamemkata because hakuna maendeleo ambayo ameweza kufanya pale I don't know what is your take. That is my take. See you in the next video. Mnyezi mungu wa kubariki. Majina yangu ni nafamika kama Mr. Eagle Ezra. Kwa mungwana, weza kusapoti kichikituo kwa kweza kupiga subscription.